Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP lock for factory reset protection. Now here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we're going through the setup steps here, we can see that we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue through the setup steps, we need to either verify the previous screen lock pin that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the secondary option that tells us that we can also sign in with the Google account that was previously used on the device in order to continue. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or also, unfortunately, a lot of times these days, someone will purchase a used device from someone who turns out to be a scammer. So in that case, then, the seller obviously did not disclose the true status of the device, and the buyer, after they uh, made the purchase, discovered that the device was locked, and obviously they weren't going to have the previous user's login information, and in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows PC along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So. Actually, before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock, just so that we can keep the video as short as possible. We just left it in place right before the last step so that you could all see that the device was indeed locked, so that you know that we're not pulling any funny stuff here, we're not scamming anyone, that this is real and it does actually work. Now that we finish up the last step of the process and the device is rebooting, we should be able to see here that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google Lock page. So we're just going to go through everything here step by step, beginning with agreeing to the terms and conditions. And we don't need to set it up using another device. And then we come to Wi-Fi, which we actually don't need. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that off and keep going. We don't need to copy apps or data, so we're going to skip that also. And then there's stuff about the Google services here. We don't need to set up a screen lock. And we don't need a Samsung account either. And more Samsung stuff. Okay, there we go, we should be all set. It says you're all set up, so when we hit finish, Sure enough, we can see that we've got the home screen here loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While I'm here, I'm gonna pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with. So when we go to the About Tablet section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab A9 Plus, and then that model number there, the SMX210, is the model number of this specific device that we are working with here. So, if you have one of these Tab A9 Pluses with the Google Lock enabled, it would be our pleasure to help you get that removed. So if you're interested, go ahead and get in touch with us. 
All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of different models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.